Anti-abortion extremist and Army of God member Paul Jennings Hill was buried in this rural South Georgia cemetery after his 2003 execution. Because he was killed by the state for his murders, he's become a martyr to the mostly leaderless Army of God, who sees him as someone who took action to kill an abortion provider who, in their estimation, had already killed thousands. So yeah, I hope to uh, encourage others to to defend the unborn much as I did. Defendant Paul Jennings Hill is hereby sentenced in count one to death for the murder of Dr. John Baynard Britton. Is hereby sentenced in count two. When the prosecution yeah. first announced they were going to be seeking the death penalty, the, the heightened threat definitely served to increase my joy. <laughs> it really did. On July 29, 1994, Paul Jennings Hill unloaded a Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun into an abortion provider and his bodyguard, a retired lieutenant colonel, at a clinic in Tampa, Florida. Both died, and the wife of the lieutenant colonel was injured. Paul then laid his gun down and waited to be arrested. After being sentenced to death, governors of Florida ignored the warrant until Jeb Bush signed it in 2003. Months later, he was executed via lethal injection. He seemed at ease with his decisions and was supported by his spiritual advisor, Reverend Donald Spitz, one of the leaders of the Army of God. 